Hi guys, it's Cordy and welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, I showed you guys how I styled my Hikaru wig. Today, I'm going to show you how I made her school uniform. First, the blouse. I took this button-down shirt pattern and made a few alterations. I lowered the neckline, lengthened the sleeves, and added cuffs. I then cut all the pieces out of white cotton, which, fun fact, was actually the original fabric for my Shuga cosplay. I began by sewing the shoulder seams together, and then I made the collar, first by tracing out the neckline, and then turning it into a Peter Pan collar. I then stitched the sleeves and sides together, Sew the collar on, hem the edges, and then attach the facing. Moving back to the sleeves, I gathered the hem with a gathering stitch and sewed the cuff to it. I then sewed four buttonholes using my buttonhole maker. Sew the buttons by hand. And my blouse was done. Moving on to the skirt, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently and using a corset pattern as the base for my waistband. I first cut the pieces out of lining and sewed it together. Once that was done, I cut the bottom to make it more even and trimmed a little bit off the top. For extra support, I also sewed boning onto the seams. For the skirt itself, I first tested the pleats using leftover pattern paper and then transferred it onto the real fabric, which is a black twill. I also went ahead and cut out the corset pieces as well. I ironed interfacing onto each of the corset pieces and then connected the pieces together. Similar to the lining, I evened out the bottom and trimmed a little bit off the top. To the skirt itself, I top stitched a red bias tape over the top and then sewed the back up. I then pinned in all the pleats and then very carefully only sewed the seam area where the zipper will go. Then sewed in the zipper and then very carefully attached the corset portion to the skirt. I then sew the top of the lining to the corset. Flipped it over and then hand tacked the rest of the lining to the corset. And that's how I made the skirt. Now for the bolero. I'm going to go ahead and use my original blouse pattern. However, I'm going to use the sleeve head from a different pattern because I'll be using a different sleeve. I also chopped the hem so that it'll hit just a little bit below the top of the corset portion. I then began cutting out all the pieces out of the lining. I really like starting with the lining of a cosplay because then that way I can make some alterations on the cheaper fabric before I move into the real one. After I sewed the lining together, I adjusted the sleeve length a little bit and chopped off a bit of the front. I then cut the pieces again out of the main fabric which is red twill and sewed the pieces together. Once that was done, I sewed the lining to the main fabric and my bolero was done. Finally, the bow. I cut out some leftover white cotton and then fused interfacing to the back. I also pinned and top stitched leftover black bias tape to the tails. I 
connected all the pieces together into a quick little bow and then sewed a clip onto the back. All I had to do was put the finishing touches on this costume, which included the red socks and black shoes. And with that, my Hikaru cosplay was done. In total, I spent about $86.40 for all the materials, and it took 24 hours to complete the whole cosplay. I was supposed to wear this for Anime Expo, but sadly, the pandemic canceled it for this year. But hopefully I'll be able to wear it next year. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more cosplay stuff from me. Or if you want to see me dance, please check out my dance channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye bye